Okay, we are at examples for section 1.1, geometry. Uh, please note that this is example number one. Uh, use the figure to name each of the following. Just a little practice with your own naming. So try it yourself. Um, if you were at home, I would have you press pause, try to write it out. This is, this is how you're going to learn this. If you press pause, write it, and then listen to what I say. A line containing point K. You have lots of options. You can write JK. You don't even have to have the K in it. You can say line JL. You can go backwards. It could be line LJ. You can even go line. You can write out the word, but then you can only have one thing behind the word, and it has to be the cursive little A there at the end. Okay? A uh, plane containing point L. A plane containing point L, well, this is the plane that we've got right here as our example. So I can write a plane in many different ways, but not these three, they're in the line. So I'm going to go plane J, K, M. You can write out the word. And I'm just going to use this cursive, B. All right, this A is going for the line, this B is for the plane, and they usually put that in a little corner. And you have many more options than that. If you want to double check with me, you can. Example number two, draw and label a figure for the following situation. Plane R, which they have drawn here, contains lines AB and line DE, which intersect at point P. Add point C on plane R so that it is not collinear with a line AB or line DE. I would take each part of this as you go through it. Um, once again, press pause and come back to it. All right, moving on, this is what your answer should look like. Hopefully you've pressed pause long enough, drawn it out. It should look something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly, uh, but this is what you're looking at. Example number three. Choose the best diagram for the given relationship. Okay, there's a lot of words up here. Let's break it down. It says plane D contains line A, line M, and line T. So if I notice here, everything has plane B, so that part we're good with. They have to have lines A, M, and T. A, M, T. A, M, T. A, M, T. Now here's what's interesting about C. A, first thing is that it's smaller than the rest, but line A, it says it contains it. That means it has to be on the plane. So this one is already going to be knocked out. All right, let's just check A, M, and T. With all three lines intersecting at point Z, so they have to intersect all three at point Z. Point Z. Uh-oh, this one's point F, so we're taking that one out. So it's also point F is on plane D and is not collinear. So F is not collinear um, with any of the three given lines. And here it is collinear, here it is not. So this is our correct answer. This one is correct. Example number four, how many planes appear in this figure? This is what I'm going to call, I don't want to say to take home because you'll be doing this at home, but I want you to do this problem. I want you to press pause, answer it, and then we will discuss this one in class. I'm not going to actually do this one on the board. So put down your answers and this will be, could either be a quiz question. <clears throat> hmm, it could be a quiz question. I might say, hey, copy down. What did you have for example number four? Or it could be just a discussion point for the next day or just something I want to check off on. All right, so please do that now. Press pause. And this ends your lesson for 1.1. This is the example portion.